Hello Taurus, how are you doing today? Um, welcome to the Real Tarot 1123. I have your card, beautiful Taurus. I am doing a general reading for, oh my God, look how fierce this looks and beautiful. I love it, I love the artwork. Um, this is a reading for Friday, Saturday and Sunday, which is gonna be the 23rd, 24th and 25th of April. Um, I have your card there. We'll pull out some energy cards, some overall energy type of card thingies, and then we'll get going on that, okay? So, you have, for the Animal Spirit Guide, you have the Red Squirrel, and it says, gather your resources now, for they will sustain you through coming change. Gather your resources now, for they will sustain you through coming change. All right. Um, I don't recollect whether it was um, for Taurus that I did yesterday or day before. I don't know which earth sign. Had a lot of money, money, money kind of stuff going on. So continue. if it is for Taurus, then continuation of that, right? Oh, hello. Come on. Let's shuffle again. Right. You have temperance, beautiful. It's a Sagittarius energy, very strong Sagittarius energy here. Temperance is the Sagittarius card. Uh, let me pull one from the Moonology, right? And it says a personal issue reaches resolution full moon in cancer okay so let's take a look at that and see full moon in cancer i'm going to read from the book y'all okay just because i don't want to miscommunicate anything full moon in cancer 74 uh, so it says um it may be best to move towards what you want in a sideways manner hmm Meditate to soothe heightened emotions. Don't be clingy. Stop sulking. Have you had enough family time lately? Okay. <laughs> All right, you guys. That I'm sorry. I'm laughing. I don't mean to be rude. It's just that it's funny. Anyway, uh, I was it for Taurus yesterday. What did I say yesterday for Taurus? I think I said be direct in your communicate or something anyway anyway moving on let's get on with this <laughs> gotta love cards man tarot cards they tell it like it is right whether you want to hear it or not it's like ten of cups the devil uh, i'm gonna take this no, that's too many cards. Well, I'm just going to go with it. I'm just going to go with it. Okay. We just go with it. This is what they want to give us. And, and there we go. Let me pull one more card since we almost have a full on. This one. Yeah. <laughs> can't get any better than that all right so the red squirrel says gather your resources now for they will sustain you through coming change then you have temperance temperance is all about moderation it's a sagittarius energy right temperance it's uh, it's having balance having harmony having patience having control and then you have personal issues reach resolution on the full moon of, of cancer so what, like I said, what the book said was, you know, if you want to go accomplish your, uh, um, reach your goals, then maybe you have to take a slightly different route to get there. And uh, also this whole thing about, have you had enough of your family yet? <laughs> that only you know. 
um, what can I say? Sometimes as much as we love our family members, you know, it's like enough already, right? I get it. So anyway, moving on to the main reading, you have the Ten of Cups, which is beautiful, okay? It's, it's wish fulfillment. It's uh, having it all for a happy, you know, family life, a life for yourself, you know, having all the Ten Cups are filled, right? And then you have the Devil card. It's like, what in the world? Well, here's the thing. It's about addictions, greed, envy, uh, um, uh, manipulation. It's uh, addic oh, I did say addictions. It's also about, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Um, codependency. It's about uh, somebody trying to control you, uh, that sort of thing. And then uh, followed by that, you have the five of pentacles. So clearly you feel like you're being put out in the cold. There's no way out for you. And uh, oh, poor me. But then you're not looking to see that there is light at the end of the tunnel or there is light, you know, on the other side. You may feel at the moment that you're being put out in the cold and you're neglected and nobody cares about you, but there is something bright over there because look, you have the king of pentacles, right? And this is a solid, practical uh, leader, a wise person. Um, and uh, clearly pentacle is, is uh, either Capricorn, Taurus or Virgo, earth energy. Uh, so uh, try, try to manage this energy which is codependency it's somebody controlling you or you being extremely controlling over somebody manipulation mental emotional manipulation you know emotional um emotional uh blackmail that sort of thing so be careful about that guard yourself against that um, and even though you may feel that you're out in the open left cold you know you're not don't worry about it because you have this fantastic you know uh, king of pentacles here this energy is fantastic because you are going to be fine and then after all that, you have the three of pentacles, which is teamwork, collaboration, uh, you know, um, uh, uh, skill, quality craftsmanship. It's uh, um, people, you know, around you who know what you're capable of. Look at those two people looking at this guy chipping away at that uh, arch. So they acknowledge the fact that you have the skill sets. They are uh, admiring your skills. So keep, keep at it because that's a fantastic energy. Now, um, it's really odd because under the Ten of Cups, right, you got temperance again. So even though you're blessed with all of this stuff, have some temperance, right? Balance, moderation. So don't go overboard and, you know, um, oh, I have all these cups that are filled. Don't just go overboard and lose control over yourself. So this again is, could be some of that energy, right? Kind of going overboard, losing control giving in to temptation, addictions, that sort of thing. So have temperance, have some balance. Because if you do give in to this energy, you're going to end up with this energy. And you do not want that, do you? Okay, what is the Ten of Swords all about? It's, it's, a, it's a painful ending. It's a feeling like you've hit rock bottom, like everybody's after you. So don't give in to that temptation because if you do, that's what you're going to feel. Now here's another thing. Under the Five of Pentacles, you have another Five of Cups. Like I said earlier, don't feel like, you may feel like you are left out in the cold, but this, have, a, have, a, have an open mind, okay? This is a temporary situation because you have the King of Pentacles right after there, which is fantastic. But here again, with the Five of Cups, you know, you're only looking at these three cups which are turned over and spilled whatever the contents are, but you don't see these other two cups that are full and standing upright. So focus on what is truly important to you, okay? Have an open mind. Don't kind of feel like, woe be me and, you know, know that there is something good coming about this because followed by that, you have the Seven of Cups. How cool is that? So the Seven of Cups is under the King of Pentacles, right? And it follows the Five of Cups. So Seven of Cups is having a lot of choices, right? Great choices, fantastic choices. But this also could, on the negative side, it, it could mean that somebody is having commitment issues. So make a commitment, pick a cup, okay? You have to, or the universe will pick one for you. So pick a, pick a cup, make a commitment, be strong and know that whichever one you pick, you're going to be fine because you have the star card on you. So regardless of which cup you pick, you're still going to have, you're going to have the star card on you. So be be uh, confident and make that make that commitment pick something and keep at it 
okay don't worry about the other six pick one every one of them has got something fantastic in it so pick one and and know that you'll be fine so this is awesome you guys uh, this is a really nice reading uh, oh, come on computer are you dying on me i hope not okay so let me if i can shuffle these cards without losing them all we'll get something from the tea leaf and see how that plays in here okay y'all these cards are awesome but i'm telling you shuffling these man i still haven't got the hang of it Whew. i'm just gonna go with this guy And it says beetle, good fortune. Okay, now the star card, it's all about renewal, hope, uh, you know, miracles happening and, and also being under the spotlight. So like I said, whatever cup you, you pick, you are going to be awesome. It is going to be a miracle. And then you have the beetle, which is good fortune. You can't ask for anything more than that now, can you, Taurus? okay so stay strong stay focused don't give in to this energy and don't be all like moping about and saying oh will be me I, I, okay easier said than done i get it guys okay I'm, I'm just trying to lighten the whole spirit and and don't worry about what you've what what you've lost or you think you've lost because what is standing up right there is something even more beautiful and fantastic so just know that okay so these two cups over here right is leading to the seven cups so you still have fantastic choices over there um, do i want to take this any further i really don't think so but let's just Do -do -do. wait so you have this beautiful beautiful arrow over the circle this is my crown charm. I call it my crown, but um, or tiara actually, the sun charm, right? And then this is the uh, what you call these guys, the dragonflies, right? And then you have the shell. So it's all about the way things look to me. It's all about the. Uh, the lighter side of life if you stay focused and don't fall into that negative energy whatever you are going to accomplish in the end whatever you are going to be gifted by the universe it's going to bring you this beautiful light energy okay the dragonfly to me is a very light energy it's all about being out in the open and enjoying nature and and that sort of a thing um it's also life right it's beautiful and then the the what you call this the sea shell and then you have this beautiful thing, the, the arrow through the circle. I forget what, what it's called though, but um, oh my God, what is it called? There's a name for this and I forgot you guys. And there's also that little tiara, the sunshine, right? So you are going to have the sun shining on you. Uh, you guys, hang on a second. I forgot the name of this. I'm having a brain freeze moment type of situation but what this basically symbolizes is whatever is coming to you whatever the universe is sending you it's going to come quick as long as you stay focused and don't give in to the negative energy that's what i'm saying and i'm going to pull something wrong here so you have libra energy okay and it says be charming Ooh, that's nice I have an alphabet H, an alphabet G, an alphabet Y. So anybody whose names start with those alphabets, this could be significant for you. Um, and also Libra energy. I see the Libra energy quite strong over here. I do not know how that pertains to you or your life. Um, so uh, also look at your horoscope and see where, you know, what's in, what Libra is which house from you. Who am I reading for? I'm reading for Taurus, right? So let me see Libra. Uh, uh, so that is one, two, three, four, five. So Libra is the sixth house from you, right? And um, the sixth house is all about... Wait, where's my cheat sheet? Hello. There we go. 
the sixth house is all about work health discipline and habits hello discipline and habits stay focused okay um, work and health that's important as well so anyway taurus i hope you enjoyed this um thank you for watching leave your comments below and i will see you on the daily reading that will be for monday okay bye